Okay, I'm going to tie the cicada. Um, first thing you want to have is the Mustad hook, which is the CK52S. Um, what I'm going to start here is with the thread. As you can see, it has this little keel on it up top that will allow the material to keep from rolling around as I tie things down, especially that uh, bug body. So we go ahead and wrap the thread all the way to the bend and slightly down. And what you want to do is bring your wraps back up to the peak. Okay, the materials I'm going to use here are uh, loco skin in black, um, gummy wings that will be pre-cut, some more loco skin for the what will be the head and I'll show you that near the end. Here I go ahead and have a pre-cut strip it's a roughly an eighth, eighth inch wide maybe a little wider it's kind of an eye cut. Um, the underbody for this bug is spider bodies in a size 4 uh, white or black, it doesn't matter which color, that'll all be covered up. And the eyes that I use for this fly are um, ballpoint pen eyes. Um, you can get them at Walmart. You can get like 300 for like a dollar 95 or something like that. So what I'll do is go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to take a, a strip roughly a half inch long. Go ahead and cut that in half. Then I'm going to cut it again in half. So what you're going to have here is a, a piece that will go from the peak of that top bend just off the back end. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the sticky back material. Then you're going to take it and start rolling it up. So once you have that done, just like so, you're going to hold that in place and start wrapping it in. And Like I said, you're going to wrap this going slightly down the bend. Then go ahead and come back forward and do some wraps that really tie it in so it won't roll around the hook. Now the next point you're going to bring the thread up to the eye. You're going to take this strip that I pre-cut, peel the backing off, and you want to have the sticky side pointing up as you tie it down. Keep that on the very top of the fly or the top of the hook and wrap that all the way back to where the tail section starts. Hold that out of place. Now you want to take your glue which I like, you could use Zappa Gap or Super glue, Loctite. Just put a bead on the very top of the spine. Bring your thread to the, the center of that, that pointed section on the hook. Take your bug body, your spider body, lay that directly on top. Hold that in place till the glue grabs it. Then you're going to take light wraps going back to the bend, not really tying down much, just kind of giving it a little base so it won't want to roll so much. Not putting any pressure on these wraps at all. Okay, next you're going to take the, the loco skin and start wrapping this forward. And you're going to make each wrap going about halfway over the previous wrap.
And again, with having the sticky material, it's going to grab it to itself and hold its place really nicely. Once you get up to that bump, which is where my thread wrap stopped, you're going to go ahead and tie that down, trim the excess. Now you're going to clean this up a little bit just by wrapping it. Doesn't matter how clean it is, just want to get it tied down. All right, your next step is I'm going to take this piece of 1 16th inch foam. It doesn't matter what kind, I just happen to have a blue. So, what you're going to do is this is cut the width of the cicada body. So, you're going to lay that on top. Hold that in place and go ahead and tie that down. You're going to tie this down to about one eye length beyond, beyond the eye, or behind the eye, I should say. So you can bring that back and fold it back. Make sure that's about right and it appears to be. So I'll go ahead and bring this back forward all the way back. And what I'm going to do is going to tie in right over top of this and this is creating the underside of that cicada and I want to leave this roughly about uh, I'd say about a sixteenth inch wide and this will that will be the the head or the eye section of the fly when I, when I finish this so you're going to take the extra and trim that off where the tie-in point was for the back of the body and go ahead and tie that down and now you can kind of start wrapping in tighter wraps to firmly secure it in place. Okay, there you go. Your next step is you're going to take your wing, one on each side, tie that down, and then you're going to take it on this side tie that down and go ahead and tie down the remaining pieces going forward so now you have a nice smooth kind of rounded head what you'll do later is we'll come back and we'll end up gluing this wing down over the body so now the uh, next material that's used in this fly are large olive rubber legs. Here they are. They're still stuck together and I like to keep them that way until I finish the fly. So I'm going to hold that down right underneath, right in the center. Go ahead and tie that down. You're going to take them at this point. You're going to separate it. I leave these fairly long um, because I'll end up knotting these legs. So once you get that done, you can flip the fly back over. Sometimes this uh, material want to creep forward towards the eye, so I'll just press it back before I go any farther. Now I have a piece of uh, loco skin that what you'll do, and I've already pre-cut this, but you just fold it in half and just cut a, a little U-shape. To it. So when you do that and it opens up, you have this, this kind of uh, M shape, and that goes up underneath. And that represents the, uh, the vibration that the cicadas make in the wild. If you look at a real cicada underneath, and that, that's exactly what it looks like. They, they flap these little pads underneath, and they vibrate to make that noise. So. I lay that down, two legs are separated by the V, you're going to come up again on top, you're going to wrap this down. So when I come forward, I'm going to wrap a little forward right behind this, this head section. So I'm going to have one wrap right over top of each other. So when you look at it from underneath, you don't see any thread coming forward. So 
at this point I always kind of take my scissors and cut each side to kind of flatten this out and it enables me to be able to pull this forward and not have it wrinkling and trim off any excess if needed. So what I'll do is also I'm going to take my points of my scissors and I'm going to have them slightly open right here where the eye will be of the of the hook to give myself a place for it to penetrate through. And then what you'll have is I'll have a little extra overlapping. So what I'll do is I'll measure this to where the thread wraps and the body of the back part of the body starts. I'll go ahead and trim that. So now it should be flush with it. And it is. And I'll take my scissors and kind of take it and round the, the corners off. And then you can go ahead and roll everything around. And take your thread and tie directly over top the previous thread wraps. So when you come underneath, it'll be directly over top of the wraps underneath. And this extra, you just trim flush with the body. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, at this point, you're going to take your other legs, again two, they're roughly four inches, four and a half inches long, separate them. You're going to tie this one on this side, do the other one on the other side. Directly, the wraps go directly over one at each other. Take your glue, instead of using a whip finish, just take your glue and beat it against the thread down about three inches or so. This will seal all of that together. Again, the wraps will be directly over top of each other. Once you get that wrapped in, just go ahead and trim it off. If the tag unravels a hair, just go ahead and find the end and you're good. Okay, um, the next step is you're going to come back roughly an eighth of an inch and tie in the legs again. So it's basically creating three segments on this fly. And again, the wraps should be directly over top of each other. So you have the back part, the middle section, and then the head. So again, you know, the, these uh, wings can still be manipulated. They may not be straight at this point, which I doubt they are. So you go ahead and wrap that in. And again, take your thread, pull it down, and then add your glue onto the thread itself and then wrap your thread directly over top of each other again hold that in place trim the extra thread and this the assembly pretty much of the fly is completed at this point then what I'll do is I'll um, one or one or two things. I'll take uh, the pin, the ballpoint pen eyes, just like so. And I'm I don't need all this stem, so I'm gonna come down about a quarter of an inch and take some cutting pliers. Hold this in place, wire cutters, and I cut that to about a quarter of an inch long. Take your 
glue, put a little bead like that onto the stem of the what's going to be your eye and then you just put it in the position on each side and go ahead and force it into the foam where it goes all the way in. You have one eye on this side. Go ahead and cut this again. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I have an eye on each side. So now what I can do is go ahead and take these legs and do a knot in them and as long as you keep the legs the knots loose you can slide them into position to where you want it and then you're going to pull tight and then you can roll them to get the angle that you want for your bug and then trim the excess so I'll do this to each leg piece. Again, it's it is important to leave that knot loose until you get it around where you want. And then just take it and pull on it and that'll tighten that that leg down and again you can kind of roll that knot until you get the leg in the position you want it and you're trimming off a little extra section like that so I'm gonna do it on the other side now I think this kind of adds to the fly I uh, originally didn't tie it this way but um, I found that it just adds a little bit more to it. And Got the last one done. I'm going to roll it to the direction I need it. Sometimes they fight you. Okay. So I've got the legs tied in the way I want them. Now I'm going to take the, uh, the glue and I'm going to run it down the back underneath the wing because you don't want these flapping around. So I have that done. Really the tying portion of this fly is completed. Um, you have all the different segments, different parts finished. Now what you can do is you can take uh, a black marker and mark over the thread wraps if you don't like the color that you used. I would prefer to use the color of the body for the thread wraps. I was just using brighter colors so you could see what I was doing. You can mitt this part if you use uh, color thread that matches the body of the fly. So there you have it. Um, what you also want to do at this point is you're going to take a, um, a marker I use marker and I also use, uh, depending on the fly color, I use marker or I use uh, nail polish. This particular one's going to be a marker and a, an olive. So I'll create the, the 
little varying colors on the back. I, tr I make a triangle on the top, a little kind of a slash on the sides, and then a slash on the very top. Just like so. Come underneath and you can do a little slash on underneath along those little pads and kind of come up a little bit and add in a little extra. So that part's done on that fly. Um, and if your legs get a little bit out of whack, you can separate them and then smash that down to have that glue adhere underneath. Flat's completed pretty much. Um, on a lot of these, especially our local cicadas, um, I use white fingernail polish to put the little white bars on underneath. Just a little quick dab. Just like so. And that'll give that a second to dry. And then the final coat is I'll take Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails and put a final coat over that. But before I do that on top, I need to put a little indicator piece, which is uh, just really, it's orange foam cylinders. And the size that I like, the cylinder size that I like is uh, about 3 32nd in diameter. Just gonna cut that about, say about a quarter inch long. Take some glue, stick it right on the top just behind the, the head part of the fly. Just lay that on top. Hold that in place. And usually by the time you do that, um, that nail polish is dry. And you're just going to take a coat and coat this up. Coat the entire fly underneath and on top. Coat just behind and over top of that orange indicator post. And something else I like to do is I like to put a little bit of a rib or vein marking an olive on the sides of the wings and the, and the fly's done.